Spider-Man, Snyder-Man, friendly neighborhood dealer man, spins a deal any size, you got good stuff, he will buy, hey there, here comes the Snyder-Man, here comes the Snyder-Man, here comes the Snyder-Man, Snyder-Man. That's right, fellow collectors, I'm the Snyder Man, and we're coming at you today with some brand new and existing, but mostly brand new CGC graded books that we picked up at the show last weekend at Terrificon and from our submissions that have come back from the C, the G, and the CGC. Okay, so what do we want to start with, folks, folks, folks? We're gonna, well, first of all, this will be pre-recorded and, and posted. Uh, it's not a live claim sale, but uh, it's going to be uh, run in the way that the first person that hits me up on something gets it, okay? So that's gonna be that. All right, let's start at the bottom. This is a, a Spidey 4 for Sandman that I picked up at the terrific con in a deal, and I have $1,800 on it, 1800 Very presentable for a 3 0 You know, CBCS, they, uh, I mean, at a 3 0 this is, this is just what it should be. I like it at a 3 0 Nice 3 0 Nice 3 0 All right, now, we have a 6-5. CGC Amazing Spider-Man 300. And I have it at $600. 600, 600. All right. And it's got no major problems whatsoever. Just a kind of accumulation of off-white to off, uh, off-white to white pages. <clears throat> the Spider-Man was off-white, all right? Next, we have the first Miles, Spider-Man No More. Beautiful 9.6. Yeah, got a little bitty, 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 bitty thing there. And that's about it. I've seen worse 9.8s. All right. So I have $1,000 on the first Miles Morales. All right, I'll leave these, leave these bags off. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, this was more of a, a set. I wanted to do this as a set. Does anybody want a 9-8 set for 1,200, 361, 362? 9-8 set, white pages, white pages. Or if you need a 9-8, this is 200. And it's a thousand. Okay, first carnage. Seeing the trailers out there. Seeing the trailers. All right, keeping with the Spider-Man theme. It's the Edge of Spider-Verse. Gwen Stacy, Spider-Woman. Beautiful cover. First appearance of the new Spider-Woman, Gwen Stacy. Jason Latour and Robbie Rodriguez. Cover and art. Nine eight white pages. Twelve hundred and twenty-five dollars. Woohoo! All right, folks, in the interest of speeding this up and just to cover our bases here, we have Marvel Premiere Warlock, number one. Uh, that's at 8.5, off white to white pages. Uh, we have a pre code horror book, Diary of Horror, number one, Avon, 1952. And that we have at $850 off white to white. And of course, it's a beautiful blonde getting carried away by demons. Why? Why do they always want to carry away the blondes? Oh, newsstand, 9-6. $400 on the Spawn 1 white pages. All right, first Harley. Wow, that's topical since she's got a movie coming out today. Oh, my goodness. All right, so first Harley, uh, $700 ADO. I guess that's a newsstand as well. Is that considered a newsstand? Yep. It is. All right. So the Ten Rings of Shang-Chi, we saw uh, all kinds of, uh, of uh, commercials and trailers for that during the Olympics. Uh, so first Shang-Chi, 5.5. We have it at 5.75. 
Then we have a first Beta Ray Bill at 450.96. We have a first Black Panther, 80 at f What? Oh, no, that's second Black Panther, sorry. Excuse me. I have two first Black Panthers here at 875 for a 25 and 1300 for a 50 off white off white to white first silver surfer 48 and galactus uh i sale was 2640 mm, you know so right at 26 i would take for that and the second black panther 5280 at uh, i mean 5380 400 all right now, we've seen some great What If trailers that are happening. This is the first What If comic book ever. Uh, it's a 9-8. What if Spider-Man had joined the Fantastic Four for 1,200? This is the first Wasp for 1,200 at a 5-0. White pages, that's good. Oh, what's this? What is that? It's the first appearance of the Sentinels, 1,400 at a 6-5 off-white. And then the first Deadpool at a 9-6. Oh, and then I got two, count them, two blades. Got a 5-0, <clears throat> off-white to white, 1,700, and a 7-5, 2,400, 2,400 off-white to white. We have the first Mephisto, and, you know, what a lot of people consider the most dramatic, greatest cover of all time in the, in the Surfer versus Thor on the Rainbow Bridge. So 6-0 at 1,500. Off white to white, off white to white, first Mephisto, 6 0. Oh, yes. It's good comic time. I love this stuff. You know, that's the thing about, you know, Anthony, are you more of an art dealer? Or are you more of a. Yes, I'm more of an art dealer because look around you. This is the biggest inventory in the country. But I love the source material, and just because I have command of the source material and do business in comics every day doesn't diminish the fact that I am, a, from my heart, an art dealer. Yes, I'm an art dealer. But I love these comics, I love the source material, and I do business in them. I love it. Look at this rack. This is a nice rack of comics. Now we got the first Power Girl, 9-6, at uh, 800 white pages. We got the first Thanos. Uh, this is an older label, off white. 9 2 off white, 2600. We got the first Moon Knight, 5 0 off white to white, $1,875. The first Werewolf by Night in Marvel, we have at 2500. We have a 90 day average of $13,761 at a giant size X Men 9 2. All right? That is available, and we have a Hulk 181, uh, 90 day average, uh, what do we got? 86 because of some crazy low sale, but uh, <clears throat> it's, you know, this is a $10,000 book. All right, so we got uh, X-Men 1, it's got a married, married something, and uh, we're asking 62.50 on it. And then we got some restoration on this one at 32, 75, 40, apparent 80 at 5,000, uh, the Surfer 1 at 75 at 2,800, and the first Hob the Gob, the Hob the Gob, Hob Goblin at 3,400 at 98 in an older label. So that's cool. I like it. Do you think the older labels were tougher? to get nine eights out of? Hmm. You know, that's, that's a subject for debate that we should have with, you know, some experienced com comic book sellers like myself. I remember going to CGC when they, they were still in New Jersey. They were like a half an hour away from here in Parsippany. We would go there. I remember we were, me and a former associate of mine were dealing with a a really high grade FF1 and, and the guy was saying, oh no, it's not restored, it's not restored, it's not restored. And you can guess who that is. Uh, so the other guy, uh, we went to the guy's house and, and got the book to take to CGC for a walkthrough to make sure it wasn't restored. So the other guy left his dad there as collateral. And then we had to drive like two hours back and forth to find out that it indeed was restored. So, but we had to collect our collateral back because it was a living, breathing soul. 
and the best part of my former uh, business partner. <laughs> anyway, so telling fun stories along the way as we're trying to sell some comic books here at Anthony's Comic Book Art in the diversity that is Anthony's Comic Book Art. I love the art. I love the high end art. I love low end art. I love meh. Well, I like low end art. <laughs> but I love high end comics like I love artwork. And then we're straightening up the showroom a little more. Give him a little pan. That's worth a pan. That's worth a pan. You know, we had the Esad here and we're going to have some more signings. And uh, I've talked to uh, like uh, Renee Witterstaff about having Michael Golden and Arthur Sudam here and uh, somebody else. So, uh, somebody else too uh, along the way. Uh, and then, and then, I will be shopping the Eternal Con in Queens this Saturday. So if you see something you like and you're over there and want me to bring it and meet you there, I'm meeting somebody there for a big art deal, uh, I'll, I'll bring that and we can do some business. So that's about it. Saturday I'll be at Eternal Con. Uh, I'm trying to, maybe, maybe I'll take Sunday off. I haven't had a day off in forever. And uh, I've kind of had a rough week. So not rough in the way that it was bad. No, it was so good. I was exhausted all the time. I love being busy. So I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Card. And I hope to get busy with some more orders from you guys. So keep calm, keep collecting, and we'll see you out there.